What skill sets are you looking for in someone that you hire today <clears throat> in an internal auditing? And uh, did Baruch get you there? I, I would say, you know, the, the typical answer would probably focus very much on the technical skills, um, mostly focused on accounting and auditing. Uh, and it's really hard to, uh, hard to debate that. However, I, I would add uh, one additional skill that I think is certainly, from my perspective, becoming more of a requirement today than ever, uh, and that has to do with communication. The ability to, to understand technically is paramount and uh, without question the most important skill, but the ability to translate that into information that, can, that people can understand and react to uh, at all levels of management. So whether it's a five-year person, you know, an individual with, with five years experience or an individual with 10 or 20 years experience, the ability to communicate and articulate different points of view across the spectrum of, of management I think is really, really important. Um, as, as far as my, um, my interactions and, and my, uh, the skills that I, that I obtained from Baruch, you know, I, I think without question, my ability from a technical point of view to understand accounting and finance um, at a very early stage in my career was very much attributed to my experiences at Baruch. Um, I enjoyed my accounting classes and one of the reasons why I selected Baruch College when I was um, entering uh, my college experience was primarily because of its accounting, uh, its accounting department and its reputation. You know, I really benefited from the the uh, you know the the uh, academics uh, that Baruch had to offer, but also leveraging the location and the proximity to the businesses that I was very interested in, working at uh, you know having internships and working at night uh, within the accounting profession uh, in the financial services sector uh, when I was at Baruch really helped me develop the skills um, that, I, that I believe are needed to be successful in today's marketplace. The professors that are teaching you um, about the, the skill of accounting can apply real world examples and uh, have, um, have experience uh, in the marketplace. Somebody aspiring to rise to the top director of internal audit, uh, what kind of skill sets do you need in moving through an organization like Goldman Sachs? One thing I've learned over my career is, um, is to make sure that in my capacity as director of internal, internal, internal audit, people want to know my perspective. People are interested in understanding um, what my point of view is. I'm, in my capacity, I am supposed to have an unbiased view of the control environment, an unbiased view of um, what is going on in the organization, and that's what the management and the audit committee expect. Um, and so being sort of resolute in the decision-making process and uh, being able to articulate my point of view um, in, clear, concise, in a clear, concise manner is very important. Internal audit is broader than uh, traditional audit and accounting. How is that today? And I think, that, you know, I, I think this is something that's changing and evolving. Today, when you look at internal auditing, um, I also, I, I don't focus on taxes, although I have to have a general understanding of taxes. Um, I don't prepare financial statements, although I have a pretty good understanding of, of financial statements and U.S. accounting standards. Um, but my role as a director of internal audit or internal auditors in general have to take a much broader perspective. You have to, as I said earlier, understand the business, not just the business of accounting or taxation, but the business uh, that the, the firm or the, the um, company that you're working in, the, the industry that you're working in. And so in my case, um, it's very, very important that I understand everything from a, an equity security and how it clears, settles, how it's priced, all the way through a um, collateralized debt obligation in terms of how it's um, how it's trans, you know, traded, uh, how it's priced, and what are the risks associated with conducting business in those types of securities. So I, I think unlike your typical financial accountant or tax accountant where your technical 
the, the, the technical skills that are required or the understanding that's needed is very, very much focused on sort of very gen a generic rule set. The internal auditor has to understand more about the industry that they're in um, and the, the business of how, um, you know, how the product is developed, how it's controlled, and how the firm makes money. We're hearing about changes in internal audit methodologies, enterprise risk management. How are those changes impacting uh, what you do at Goldman? I think there's, um, if you take a step back and think about the, the most recent crisis in the financial industry, I think people are starting to ask questions around um, where were some of the people who were responsible for overseeing or trying to identify, identify some of the risks in the business. And I think what we're seeing is that perhaps a broader look at, um, at the control environment would have been more helpful. And so um, I think where we suffer today is that sometimes people don't connect the dots. There isn't any one group that really puts, the, uh, puts all of the pieces together. Um, so, so that they can identify um, potential issues in advance. I think th there's a concept of enterprise risk management where th there certain firms are looking to pull together as much information about the control environment of an institution to see if they can get ahead of issues or ahead of potential problems. Um, and, and some of those some of the other groups that um, that would be included in enterprise risk management obviously would be internal audit but there are other groups as well there are other quality control groups that have a window in to how the business is functioning and and there's a view that maybe pulling that together with internal audit would provide a much more comprehensive result so there's quality control groups in technology uh, in, in our firm we call it technology risk there are uh, other groups called operational risk. There's um, our, security, our security department. So any group that's really responsible for, um, for risk management um, would be part of some, you know, a, a group called enterprise risk where they would um, consolidate various metrics and various um, data that would help uh, that would help anticipate potential uh, problems in the future. Let's talk a little bit about Goldman. Could you uh, talk about Goldman's culture and perhaps contrast it to uh, other peer firms in the financial services industry? Well, I think, um, you know, I've been with Goldman, as I said earlier, uh, close to 20 years. If there was one word that would describe the, the culture of Goldman Sachs um, or or you know, several words, I would say it's consensus building. It's driven by teamwork. Um, the point of view that um, there's, there's no one that's more important than the firm and the organization. Um, and maybe overarching all of that is the standards that the firm sets. We don't just meet the, uh, the, the form of the law or just meet the requirements of the law. We meet the spirit of the law. And we have our clients' interests first, and we know if we serve our clients that uh, success will follow. And those principles are, um, are really built into everything we do without exception. And I think that general understanding um, throughout the organization has made us very, very successful. I, I guess I would also add that in comparison to some of our peers, we're just a smaller organization. We have roughly 35,000 people. Uh, our, a lot of our compeers have uh, anywhere between 75,000 and, and well north of uh, 100,000 people. And so our ability to be very quick to market, our ability to, be, to, to, to get small and to make the organization feel like a small partnership, um, I believe has made the, or, or is, um, has put a fine point on the, the culture of Goldman Sachs.